we're under the hood, just tighten, tightening up some things. Um, and I noticed on the uh, main voltage regulator alternator harness from the firewall plug to the voltage regulator, headlight, horn relay, and horn, but there's some, the old alternator wires have just been deadheaded and abandoned in the loom. Um, at some point, this the alternator on this was rewired when they put the big block in it. So this is a no-no. Um, basically, that right there uh, would be a 12 volt short to ground, um, and that would smoke this whole harness in this truck. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open this up. I'm gonna open the loom up. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull these out of the loom, and then I'm gonna loom them back together with some uh, non-adhesive uh, loom tape. So when I'm reluming a uh, uh, harness, there's some factory, this this factory keeper has, has been torn out. So we keep all these originals um, for this purpose. So we'll incorporate this, a good one, back into this harness when we put this back together. So when I'm unlooming it, I want to, uh, I want to know where that's located. So, I will do that, so when I'm relooming this, that way when we plug it back in, this will go in the factory holes um, to secure the uh, harness back in the truck. Another uh, quick little tidbit here is uh, uh, GM didn't use, uh, a lot of guys will use electrical tape with adhesive on it. Uh, GM didn't use that. They use what they call non-adhesive loom tape. So as you can see, this tape is, there's no sticky on either side of it. So when they got to the end, they just tie a half knot in it. And that's actually correct. That's the way they did it. So when we're doing them, we do them the same way just for, because that's the way we do things. Unless the customer says otherwise. So here, as I'm pulling this off, anywhere there's a split out where the wires split out, um, I want to I want to uh, mark that. Any of our keepers, I want to mark that. And then here, I want to mark where the end of the loom goes. Uh, the loom tape. That's not a big deal, but I like to put it back the way I took it apart. So uh, this has been converted to a uh, internally regulated um, alternator. I can tell because these wires. That's the power wire, and then these are the uh, the uh, feed wires for the alternator. And these go back to the voltage regulator. So since that has been this 66 has been converted to an uh, internally. Or I'm sorry internally regulated alternator, these wires are not necessary. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, what they call unpin these wires from the uh, from the, the connector. So that just gets it out entirely. So instead of snipping the wires and having something deadheading, um, I'm gonna actually clip it out of the, uh, or I'm gonna actually uh, take it out of the loom altogether. So all we're doing here is basically we're sticking Sticking this little device right here down in the clip, we're gonna flatten that tab right there and it's gonna allow that to release. So it's basically just a, uh, releasing that tab. Um, and then these will unpin just like that. So now those will be pulled out, out of the loom altogether. So when we put it back together, we won't have all these random wires hanging about. generally the same spot that it came out of uh, the ones that were compromised and the little nipple was uh, little nipple was torn off which is pretty pretty typical um, either they got brittle and broke off when they were removed or they weren't removed properly and uh, destroyed in the process so so we're getting down to the end here Again, I mark these of where I can see generally my marks right there. So that's where they did the half knot at the end and terminated it. Terminated it. So I want to do the same thing. And I'm okay going a little strong of it. One, you don't see your marks. And then also, uh, 
just more protection on the wire, so. So, get to this point, run it back on itself a little bit. And we're gonna cut that. And then I like to stretch it. And it's simply a half knot. Half hitch, they call it also. Half knot, half hitch. If you get your, if you get your tail a little long, that's okay. You can uh, clip it. And then to help it stay, keep it from unraveling, I uh, pull it back out like so. So I'll keep it from unspooling, un unraveling. So basically that just mimics. Now, to some people that would look unfinished, but that's the way GM did it. So that's the way we prefer to do it when we put it back together. So this loom is ready to, to uh, plug back into the truck. And we have no abandoned wires in the loom and no compromised wires in the loom. So this will plug right back in where we took it out. The thing that we do, four, five, six Chevy trucks, is always use dielectric grease. I got a little uh, acid brush here that I, I mean, we just use this stuff all the time on uh, electrical connections. Sometimes it's good also if you're, uh, if you're putting in a uh, nut or a bolt, like a fender bolt, put a little of this on your fingers and put it on the threads. It just helps it thread in and out, comes in and out easily. But we'll always dab a little uh, dielectric in the uh, factory plugs. It's good for uh, moisture dissipation and also makes it where it's, you can plug it in and out, <laughs> plug it in and out easily. And in some cases, this plug has never had any lubrication on it at all. So I put a little bit on it. This is, uh, this actually goes, this plug here goes the horn relay. So put a little in there. That'll cut, cut down on the corrosion and the moisture in the uh, plug. This one actually plugs into the horn. Now this truck doesn't have a horn on it currently, but it's going to have one because we're going to pull one from inventory. So let's put a little bit of product in there and this thing's ready to install on the truck. These are the remains of the original ones. So this Mr. Twister goes back on the horn relay. This plugs back into the voltage regulator. There. This goes here. We get a horn on it. That's the horn lead, and then we'll uh, rewire the. Uh, we're going to rewire the uh, electric fan on this truck as well. 